Alright guys, this is Chris from the Dragon Box, Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania. We're getting some phone calls from some customers having some trouble uh, with their box, specifically startup issues, setup issues, and accessing some of the content that they're looking for uh, application wise. So I figured I would just give you a brief video here tutorial on some setup issues as well as accessing the wizard a little bit of information about the dragon streams and whatnot first thing I want to do is, is when you hook up your box obviously an HDMI cable power cable hook up the HDMI to your television it's going to go through a booting sequence throughout that booting sequence you're going to pick your language English Spanish whatever and then following that you're going to come to this screen. This is going to be your main screen when you turn on your box. Okay, The first thing that you're going to want to do when you get to this screen is you're going to have to connect to your internet. Okay, So you're going to go down in here to your settings. On your network tab right there you're going to see there's your internet connections as you would any other device that you use in your house, your phones, computers, or whatnot. This is nothing more than a computer. All right, it's, it just makes a big display on your television. Okay. Here's if you want to click on Wi-Fi. If you're going to hook it up via Wi-Fi, if you're going to, order to get direct connection to your router, you're going to hook it up. You're going to click on the Ethernet connection. All right. Put your password in if it's secured, and if it has a lock right next to the name of the then, then it's secure. Okay, so once you get connected, you want to go back to your main screen here, and you know you're connected if up in the top right hand corner where the time is 6.55 p.m., you're going to see the bars there. I'm connected to the internet. All right. You're going to want to make sure that the speed of your internet is minimum of 10. We recommend at least 15 megabits per second. If you're not running to 15 megabits per second, you're probably going to experience some buffering. I get some calls from people, customers that are complaining that they're, they're experiencing some buffering with their boxes. 99% of the time, it's not the box. It's going to be your internet connection. And if it's not the internet connection, it's the application that you're accessing. <coughs> and then when I tell people this, what I get is, oh, well, my internet connection is 50 or 100 or or whatever. Well, that may be your internet connection, but that's not your, going to be your feed. Now you got to remember that if you're connected via Wi-Fi, depending on where it is in the house, the further away it is from the router, the slower it's going to be. The more things that you have connected to your router, it's going to drain the connection. One way to test how your, how fast your, your Wi-Fi connection is, is right down here. You're going to run a speed test. Alright, the screen's going to come up. Now with the arrows, you can't get to that where it says to restart the test. Alright, so you're going to hit the cursor button. And then you can move the cursor around. Anytime you can access something uh, with simply clicking the right, left, up, down arrows, hit the cursor button. Okay, so we're going to run this real quick just to give you an idea of what, what it says here. There's my download speed, and I'm hitting almost 30, so I'm in good shape here. My router's upstairs. Uh, actually, my slowest router, my slowest uh, connection speed is in my kitchen, which is 50 feet from my my router. If you have a hookup in the kitchen and you experience a delay or slow connection for some reason in the kitchen you have your microwave you have your refrigerator on it and it drowns it out I, I don't know you can always get a Wi-Fi extender I have a Netgear Wi-Fi extender it seems to help all right let's get out of here now I'm good 28 download 10 upload don't really care about the upload speed okay 
prepare your video tab. You can upload videos, upload your music. Uh, here's your Play Store. Just as you have an Android account, you can load your applications. And here's going to be all your applications. I'm not going to belabor this issue here uh, because we're, I don't really use Vox for this. Not many people do. Mobdro, that's a good application for some live television. Other than that, I don't really use anything in here except for Cody. Uh, Netflix is in here. Why you would ever get Netflix I, I with this box, I don't know. I get people who still subscribe to Netflix. Beats me. This thing has everything and anything you could ever imagine on a television show-wise, movie-wise. There's absolutely no reason to have Hulu, Netflix. So, all right. First thing you're going to do when you get to this screen, after you set your box up, is you're going to go into Cody. All right. I was playing with it earlier, so. All right. This is what you're going to see when you first enter your screen after you set your box up. Now, once you set your box up before you run the Dragon Wizard, you're not going to see any of those applications at the bottom there. All right. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to run the wizard. All right, the wizard is what hooks up to the corporate servers, and that's what downloads all the applications that you're going to see. <coughs> Got a phone call the other day from a customer who was complaining because there was no applications on, on Cody. Nothing. I asked him if he ran the wizard, and he didn't even know what I was talking about. I give a sheet out to all my customers, every box that I sell. I give a brief instruction sheet on what, exactly what you have to do. Obviously, he didn't read it, didn't know where the instruction sheet was, calls me, yells at me, but uh, I got him through it. He loaded the wizard. Everything's fine now. All right. So when you first set the box up and you get into this screen, you go into the add-ons. The only thing that you're going to see on the add-on part when you initially set your box up is the Dragon Wizard. There isn't going to be any other applications loaded on the box, just the wizard. You have to run the wizard, connect to corporate servers, and that will give you all of your applications. It takes 10 to 15 minutes. It's a very big file. Once you load the wizard, you're good to go. <coughs> Alright, after you're done loading the wizard, this is what you're going to see. Alright, these Nine applications down here, designated by corporate. All right, they believe that these are the most popular ones that these designate. You can play with this, and you can change what you want down here. Just as you can make stuff your favorites or whatever, I suggest that you really don't, because every time you run that wizard, it's going to revert back to this, and you're going to want to, want to run that wizard every couple weeks. Uh, to keep it updated with the, the current applications and stuff, uh, and once you run the wizard, it's going to just it's going to wipe out all your favorites and whatnot. So I only use three applications for the most part, mainly two. Myself, I'm not an expert with this box. Uh, the tech support guys are awesome, and I'll explain a little bit about the Voxer, which is where you're going to get your tech support and Dragon Streams, which is the difference between this box that we sell and any other box on the market. That's our trademark. But, all right, real quick, Genesis is probably your best application for your movies, your television shows, movies that are in the theater. <coughs> Let's go in real quick. Um, here you go. Self-explanatory. Movies, television shows, uh, channels. You can search for whatever you want. Latest episodes, latest movies. Let's go into television shows real quick. All right, there you go. You can literally search for anything that you want. Let's go most popular. All right, Game of Thrones. All right, let's, let's just click on this. You can search for anything. You'll find anything on here. In season one, there's all your seasons. It has all the current shows, all the current episodes. Usually the night they air, it'll be on here. All right, here's all your episodes. There were 10 episodes that season. 
let's just click them on. I'll play one real quick just to give you an idea. All right, here's all your links for it. 299 links. If for some reason the picture isn't as good with one link, just go to the next. Uh, VK Box is always a pretty good link. I like to use that one. Aroro, that's another good link that I use. Uh, to each their own. You got your 1080p, your high definition, HQ it's for high quality, I believe. But really, the pictures are they're excellent for all of them. And there you go. All right, if you hit the OK button, you'll see down at the bottom there you can pause it, fast forward, stop it. Let's pause it real quick. One of the, one of the problems that I had when I initially got my box was volume. For some reason, I put the volume all the way up on my television. It wasn't playing as loud as I thought. I put the, the volume all the way up on the box. Wasn't that good? What you can do, figured it out real quick. Go in here, volume amplification, it was at zero. Turn it up. Turn it up. Now amplify your volume, acts like an amplifier, obviously, and you'll be fine. There's some other settings in here you guys can play with. I'm not going to go through them right now. But there you go. And you get an idea how to access the television shows. There's a return button. That's how you go back to the, the previous screen. But every single television show you could ever imagine is in here. Uh, movies. Movies that are in the theater. There you go. In the theater bottom left hand corner. There you go. Simply unlimited amount of stuff to watch on this thing. There you go. I mean, you can search for anything. And self-explanatory, everything is there. Alright. Roro TV, other television and movie application. I don't really use that one. Go TV, if Genesis is down for whatever reason, Go TV I usually use for my television shows. And Go Movies I use for my movies. I don't watch a whole lot of movies. A lot of television shows, though. Uh, these over here, honestly, I've never even accessed. But uh, cartoons, unlimited amount of stuff for kids. Phoenix, up and coming one, has a lot of good stuff in there. Some live television and stuff. I haven't really been into Phoenix in a while. Dragon Streams here. This is the trademark of the company. Uh, this is where I watch the majority of the live television. Although I've been watching IPTV lately, I'll show you that real quick. It's been very good. Your sports, all your sports. I watched through here your live fights, your pay per view specials, uh, baseball, football, uh, you name it, it's in here. I'm just going to go into Dragon Streams real quick. And here you go Dragon Sports. You want to access your sports. NFL streams, during NFL season, you're going to see, you're going to go here, NFL streams. Your live fights are up here, and you can just go through this stuff, I'm going to just basic tutorial, pack networks, uh, some of your replays, sports site scrapers, that's where I go to access my baseball, and generally my favorite one is this first row sports.ge. So I'll go into that one. There you find your sport, baseball. And there you go, there's your games. Come game time, you'll click on the game. There'll be a couple different links there. And then you click on the link and go. If one link isn't isn't as good quality, then you just go to the next one. If for some reason none of those links work, Go up into this top one, it's ATDHE Net TV. You can find it elsewhere. There's literally dozens of ways to access anything that you're looking for. <coughs> and 
There you saw your live sports. There's some of your live TV. This is where I watch some live TV. iLive.2. That's where I watch all my, generally a lot of my live television. IPTV, like I said before, I've been, I've been using lately. There you go. It's all your live television. Just keep going. Whatever you want is on here. Alright. This is our this is the trademark, the Dragon Streams. No other box has it. Uh, you know, I get I get some people that are calling, you know, complaining that there boxes that there's boxes out there that are cheaper or whatnot. Well, they just they don't understand that the Dragon Streams here. They are not going to get. You will only get the Dragon Streams with the Dragon Box. And I can tell you from experience that the streams, at least for the sports and everything else, is superior to the other boxes. Before I became a, a reseller of these boxes, <coughs> I actually bought a couple of the other boxes and they were junk. So, anybody who wants to complain about you know the price of these boxes or whatnot, you know, they're welcome to go other, go elsewhere and buy another box where, you know, they have to manually upload all the applications. They are not, they don't have nearly the, the tech support that, that we have, the warranty, good luck, you know, trying to cash in on that. Uh, there's no, there's virtually no manual uploading with the box. So, uh, you're not going to beat this. This is, this is top notch here. I'll put this box against any other box on the market, and I got to tell you, the tech support on this is phenomenal. All right, there's an application that's called Voxer, V O X E R. Download for your phone, and the information for the Voxer is on on the sheets that I give out to the customers. All you do is you go into the application Voxer and you request the Dragon Box headquarters. HQ for headquarters. You request to become part of the chat, and there will be your tech support. And I'm telling you, there's literally people there 24 hours a day that will help you out. Uh, two guys, especially Danny and Eric, those guys are awesome. They know these boxes inside and out, and they'll help you with whatever you need. The company president also is involved in most of these chats, so if you have any warranty information or whatnot, you can ask him there and they can direct you as to what to do. All the boxes come with a six month warranty uh, so if anything goes wrong with it you, know, that you simply file a claim with the with the company and they'll take care of it. Alright, but only if you're buying from an authorized seller. If you're not buying from an authorized seller your warranty won't be any good. Your Dragon Streams will get cut off. So, alright, that's your Dragon Streams. It's excellent. Some of the other add-ons here. Triple A Stream. That's a big up up and coming application. I haven't uh, played around with this a whole lot. I hear a lot about it. Um, let's see what we got here. Kids Corners. I mean, you name it. Music. Try grandstand. <clears throat> Television shows are in there. Movies are in there. And you could go through and play with this. This is an application I would suggest that you that you play around with. There's a lot of stuff in here. Workouts, fitness. I know fitness is in here. Insanity videos. You pay $125 just for the insanity workouts. You'll get them through here for nothing. Let's see if I can find it. There you go. There's your fitness. There you go. Insanity. And there you go. There's all of your insanity stuff. 
And I'll just play real quick to show you it works. There you go. 125, $150 for this for the CDs or DVDs. You get it for nothing. Uh, like I said, just play with this. This AAA is a big and up and coming application, so uh, keep an eye on it. It's got an IPTV, but literally you can see there, there's everything on here. Uh, videos, ESPN3 videos, get your adult films in here, tons and tons, children's stuff, IPTV Wizard. I just recently started watching this, a lot of live television in here, uh, movies, we get movies that are in a theater, uh, video on demand, they're in here. Furious 7. Let's see. Player. There you go. Perfect picture. You can see there's literally there's, there's hundreds of show of of channels in here. I remember so there's HBO in here, there's Showtime, there's Stars, it, everything you can imagine is in here. Let's see here. Oh, here's all of them. That was just video on demand. Network. Fox News Channel. I watch Fox News. But you name it, it's in here. You gotta remember the purpose of this box is not to stream, it's not to channel surf. So, you know, I, I don't suggest that you buy the box if you're looking to channel surf. Uh, the main purpose of this box is to watch your television shows, is to watch your movies, your sports. I literally bought the box initially because I wanted the football package. I don't want to spend $300 for the football package. I got the box. Now I got the baseball package. I got everything else. Uh, but you can see, it's this thing, it does everything. NaviX is another pretty good application. I haven't really used it much. But this was a popular application. And you can see most viewed 24 hours, 7 days. Like I said, you just got to go and play with this thing. There's just this unlimited amount of stuff you can do with this box. <clears throat> Check out Phoenix. It's pretty good. US TV Now. <clears throat> All right. US TV Now. This application was actually developed for the military. And those are all live channels. Now, that's a subscription. It's a subscription for US TV Now. But if you go on and you sign up, you can get four or five or six channels for free. Uh, doesn't cost you a dime. I mean, if you want to subscribe and pay twenty dollars a month or whatever it is, you'll get all these. But that's strictly not, that's strictly a subscription through US TV now. There's no subscription for anything on this box. Uh, sports Devil, very very good uh, sports application. You also get all of your live sports through here. <clears throat> and you'll see it first row of sports and you just got to go and play with this thing there's literally 
anything and everything you could imagine on here. NBC Sports Live Extra. There you go, live and upcoming. So, just play with it. So, there's your music applications, uh, programs. Got your wizard in here, Naviax. Here's your maintenance tool. Once in a while, you want to go in and clear out your cache files. Go in your general maintenance. Clear your cache out. So, having a lot in your cache is going to slow your box down a little bit. All right, but that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions about it, you can contact me through my Facebook page. And that is the Dragon Box Lehigh Valley. I'm also starting a website. I have the domain DragonBoxLVPA.com, which is not up. It'll be up in the near future. But you can also call me at any time, 484-892-9326. If you have any questions, uh, if there's anything suggestion-wise that you have, uh, video-wise that you'd like to see, or anything you'd like to see on the box itself, <coughs> we're always looking for uh, suggestions, uh, anything what you guys you know want to see, and uh, any suggestions you have, I will pass on to Paul, the uh, company president, and uh, we'll go from there. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks a lot. Again, my name is Chris from the Dragon Box, Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania, and have a good night.